what is going on traders welcome back to the traveling trader in this video i'm going to be giving you my thesis and my analysis on one stock that i think is massively undervalued at the moment especially considering one of the biggest catalysts upcoming for 2022 you definitely want to stick around for this if you are looking for a blue chip mega cap in your long-term portfolio at a major major discount so we'll get right into it if this is the first time on the channel welcome back to the traveling trader happy to have you if you get anything out of this video leave it a big fat thumbs up let me know in the comment section below what you think of this valuation so the stock no surprise is amd now stay with me because this is not going to be a boring video Yes, it is almost 20% down from highs, which puts it in bear market territory, so enough of a discount already. But I will tell you how to get this stock potentially for 15% cheaper right now. So you definitely wanna stick around till the end of the video. All right, so point number one, why AMD is a good buy. Obviously the technicals here, it is sitting at the 100 day moving average, which is a major support level here for a mega cap blue chip. I won't get into too much technicals because I wanna focus on more of the fundamentals here. But if you know how to read technicals, you know why this is a level that you will want to dollar cost average in. All right, point number two is strong revenue momentum. AMC, AMC, AMD saw a revenue growth of 54% year over year, and it raised its revenue outlook in the last two quarters, the last two earnings that it had. Now, one significantly important and often forgotten business vertical is their enterprise business, which saw a 69% year over year growth to revenues of 1.69 billion in the third quarter of last year. And going back to Q1 2020, they've had seven consecutive quarters of revenue growth. All right, point number three is very pertinent to the environment that we are going to find ourselves in, which is an environment where interest rates are rising. AMD's free cash flows are excellent. During periods of rising interest rates, you basically want to focus on two kinds of companies. One, a company that pays a high dividend yield, a quality company that pays a high dividend yield. I actually did a video on this. It was the video right before this. Watch it here. And two, companies that also generate a significant amount of free cash flows because during high interest rate environments, the value of cash dramatically decreases. So those that actually are able to generate significant amounts of cash are in a better place than those that are strapped for cash. In the third quarter of last year, AMD generated $764 million in free cash flows on sales of 4.13 billion. That is a cash flow percentage of 18% or cash flow margin percentage of 18%. And if processor sales continue on the trend they are seeing, AMD could see free cash flow margins of 30% next year. And here's a comparison of AMD and Nvidia's free cash flow yield. You could see that AMD AMD's cash flow yield is 1.68% versus Nvidia's free cash flow yield of less than 1% at 0.97. All right, point number 4, it's comparison to Nvidia. In my view, if you look at the at the financial ratios, AMD is actually a much better value and has more growth potential than uh, than Nvidia does. Now, not by absolute numbers, but by percentages. So here's what I'm talking about. Nvidia is obviously a bigger company and has a market cap of 695 billion. Its revenue numbers are even greater in number. However, if you look at its ratio, its market cap to sales is 26x. AMD's market cap to sales is only 10.31x. And for forward year 2022, it's even less than that at 8.7, while NVIDIA's remains at 22.10. So much less valued than NVIDIA is at the moment. All right, now the nail in the coffin. Yes, it is down 20%, which puts it at bear market territory. And in my view, if you're a fan of this channel, you know that any blue chip mega cap that you deem as a good hold in your portfolio, when you see it tank to major support levels, that's when you start adding disproportionately. We buy on the red. We don't buy on the green. Now, if you don't believe in NVIDIA as a company for whatever reason, that's fine. It's your prerogative. But if NVIDIA is, if you if you see NVIDIA as a blue chip that you want to hold until retirement, then yes, you are doing a disservice if you don't buy it at a 20% discount. That doesn't mean that it can't drop further, mind you. But when you're investing, you're buying undervalued stocks that you believe are undervalued for a reason. So besides buying it at a 20% discount, how can we get it cheaper? Well, there's one thing that you are forgetting or you might not be forgetting is the AMD deal with Xilinx. Xilinx is a semi my conductor company based in San Jose, and it is the creator of a fabulous manufacturing process, which is a game changer in the semiconductor industry because fabs take a very long time to build out. Fabs are just fabrication plants, but they take between two and five years to build, which is why there is a chip shortage because it's not easy to produce chips at scale. 
And you see companies like TSMC and Intel building out new fabs at the moment in the United States and elsewhere. So AMD is looking to acquire Xilinx. However, it needs the approval of the Chinese government. Now, you might be asking yourself, why does AMD, an American company, and Xilinx, an American company, need the Chinese government's approval? Well, because they both have major operations in China, obviously due to lower labor costs, and they're not going to give that up anytime soon. So if you're going to continue operating in China, then you need the Chinese government's blessing if you're going to stage a merger of historic proportions. Now, this has been in talks for all of 2021, and it was expected at one point to be done by end of 2021. However, they pushed it to Q1 of 2022. And I just saw this. I'm surprised that it's not making a ton of news. I actually didn't even know this until I started doing a bit of research for this video. But there is an approval date of January 11th, which is tomorrow from the date of this recording because I'm recording this on January 10th. But if it's not approved by tomorrow, then a new HSR filing will have to be made in development. HSR filing basically just states your intent to merge or acquire a company. Now, the good news is that if another HSR is filed, then that could actually boost the shares because it, it you know, then intensifies the intent of... Uh, AMD to acquire Xilinx and still leaves the deal up in the air as a possibility. Now, the reason that this is extremely lucrative and the way that you can get a 15% discount on AMD is if you actually buy Xilinx at the moment. So let's get right into it. Xilinx is currently trading at around 193.50. AMD is currently trading at around $132. So let's do a little drawing. You guys love when I do this because I see the comments every time I pull up one of these uh, on, on the videos. But so you have AMD and you have Xilinx. So the terms of the deal, AMD is acquiring Xilinx, right? However, for every share of Xilinx that you have, you are going to get 1.7, it's gonna be a weird number, two, three, four shares of AMD. So let's go back to Xilinx stock price and see what it's currently trading at. And let's do a little bit of math. You could see that it is trading at 193.50, right? So for every share of Xilinx, you're gonna get 1.7234 shares of AMD, which is currently trading at 132. So if you do 132 times 1.7234, the price of Xilinx at the moment, if we're factoring in the deal, should be $227.50. If you look at Xilinx right now, it is trading at $193.50. So if we take this $227.50 figure, right? So $193.50 divided by 227.5 equals minus one. So we are getting a 15% discount right now if we buy Xilinx and they actually merge. We're getting a 15% discount on AMD shares because remember, if you own shares of Xilinx, they will be converted into shares of AMD at a multiplying factor of 1.7234. Now, the reason that this deal spread, which is what it's called, this deal spread exists, is because there's still a little bit of uncertainty, right? However, if the deal were announced and it were to go through, then you would see these prices normalize and trade at almost exactly on par, right? You, you would get uh, AMD trading at or, or sorry, Xilinx trading at 1.7234 times AMD stock price. So aside from the fact, for all the reasons that I stated, that, that AMD is currently a great bargain, it is currently undervalued for a mega cap blue chip stock, you're getting it at a 20% discount, you can get an even further discount if you buy Xilinx and the merger happens. Now, obviously, we are not Nostradamus. The merger can easily you know, go south. We've seen this happen before. However, if you are, were to survey most market analysts that are tracking semiconductor stocks, they will tell you that it is just a matter of time. And it's not like Xilinx is a slouch of a company. Xilinx is an ultra powerhouse as well. So what I like to do, because I, I you know, am adding NVIDIA here for the long term at these major moving averages, I a portion of the money that I'm going to allocate, it's not NVIDIA, sorry, AMD, a portion of the money that I'm going to allocate to AMD I will actually use that and uh, you know speculate a bit on the deal by buying Xilinx. So if I were to say, you know, put a certain amount of money for AMD, I might take 20% of that and instead of just buying all AMD stock, 
would take 20% and buy Xilinx stock as well to capture a bit of that discount. Now, this is all going to be tuned based on your own risk tolerance, right? So some people might even do 100%. Some people say, screw it, I'm not even buying AMD, I'm gonna buy Xilinx and just bet that the deal goes through and capture an extra 15% discount on that deal spread. Some folks will do 10, percent some folks will do 20 percent maybe some will do 50 50 really it is up to you i'm not telling you what to do i cannot tell you what your risk tolerance is there's likely going to be thousands of people watching this so it is up to you but it is my job to give you the info as i see it and then you do what thou wilt anyway traders if you got anything out of this video leave it a big fat thumbs up we did alert amd in the in the trade alerts as well if you want access to all of our trade stocks options crypto etc you want to join 4,000 zealous traders talking trades all day every day option strategies stock strategies swing trading long term etc link is in the description below it's a great value would love to have you leave it in the comment section let me know what you think of this let me know if you are already invested in amd or xilinx subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell stay safe out there traders peace